wildlife biology is a profession wildlife science is a profession you have to be trained uh, you know if you just say take a photograph or shoot a video or go to a park it's it's not wildlife science you are an enthusiast you are going so i had to first train myself so i went to university of florida got an msc degree in wildlife biology then i got a phd degree in wildlife from mangalore so this training is essential mm -hmm. so when i began my work in nagarhole the interest was basically science mm -hmm. because i believe without science you cannot achieve conservation see a lot of people approach conservation sentimentally saying mm -hmm. i care for tigers i care deeply for nature but that is that is required but that's not enough you have to understand so you can solve problems mm -hmm. so i was interested in solving problems of conservation so science was very essential there were two big years one was 1965 when i read shaller's article and mm -hmm. said this is what i want to do it was clear to me i didn't want to be an engineer although i was in second year engineering it was clear to me eventually i wanted to do wildlife science then in 1983 after i had you know i had worked i had sold uh, tractors i had worked in this okay. micro factory i had done other things but i was always interested in wildlife so i was observing things i was publishing my notes so in 1983 in a conference in bombay Bombay Naturalist Society I met a very eminent tiger scientist called Professor Mel Sunquist so he was very impressed by my interest and my knowledge what little knowledge I had gathered so he said if you take the GRE exam and get a good enough score I will take you as a student master student in Florida okay so that was a real opening for me because if in India if you do a bachelor's in some field you can't do a masters yes, uh, in some other field mm -hmm. it's a very compartmentalized and then anyway, at that time there were no courses in india in wildlife so it gave me the opportunity to go and study wildlife and one of the best professors in the field lot of young people came uh, they wanted to participate in the research so i would take them to the forest and some of them got deeply interested Yes, so they got committed to conservation so i developed a network of institutions okay. around the uh, mostly ngos based in different places across the malnad landscape mm -hmm. and good charismatic individuals who were very interested and by that time i was also employed by the wildlife conservation society so i had resources to support them mm -hmm. so i could support them financially i could give them some knowledge so the operations expanded to the entire western ghats of karnataka so we are working both research and conservation across the karnataka lands you know, malnad landscape we have also begun to work in goa and in wynad in kerala and uh, around you know some conservation interventions in the adjacent area because tigers don't recognize state boundaries yes, this is one population of tigers that extends mm -hmm. uh, to northern tamil nadu then there is a gap in distribution so i am interested in not just studying but also recovering and increasing this whole tiger population okay